Hello everyone, my name is Nikhil from Performance Testing Hub. Today's topic is Introduction to Loadrunner. So let's get started. Loadrunner is one of the most widely used performance testing tool owned by HP. It supports various technologies and communication protocols. Ranging from web-based application to desktop or mobile-based application, Loadrunner can be used to test performance of applications and environments. The tool has the ability to emulate real-world scenarios and load your application, which helps in finding potential performance bottlenecks in application or environments. Let's see what are the components present inside a load runner. Load runner is made up of three components. The first is ViewGen or Virtual User Generator. ViewGen helps you to record and develop scripts which will be used for load testing. The second component is controller. The controller is used to design the test scenarios and control its test execution. It controls the number of users to emulate, the actions they perform, machines on which they run and things like that. The third and the final component is analysis. Analysis tool helps you to analyze the result file generated by controller. It enables users to create customized graphs and reports for analysis of system performance after a test is executed. We will see these components in details in upcoming slides, but before that we need to get familiar with few terminologies. The first is vUsers. vUsers is a name used for virtual users which run during load testing. Next is vUser script. The script created by vUgen is known as vUser script. Next is performance center. Performance Center is the central repository from which you can build, manage and monitor your test. The last one is the Load Generator. Load Generator are the actual machines on which your virtual users run, which enables you to emulate the actions of a user. Now since we are familiar with these terminologies, let's create a dummy test plan. Let's assume we have a website which we want to load test with 50 users and validate its performance. We will see how each of these components of Loadrunner helps us to achieve our objective. To start with our testing, we need to first create a script which will em emulate user activities. The virtual user generator or VUGen is that component of Loadrunner which allows you to record and develop your scripts for load testing. The UI of VUGen looks like this. The user can click on this red button to specify which application to record and start recording. Once recording starts, all the activities we perform on the application are captured in terms of request sent to server and respond received. Once recording is done, Vuegen generates various functions and creates basic scripts. User can further customize these scripts based on his need. It also provides option to replay the recorded scripts to make sure that it is recorded as expected. Let's assume now we have a script recorded, customized and our script is ready for execution. Now the next step will be to run this with 50 virtual users. This will be achieved using Loadrunner's second component which is controller. Controller provides user with the ability to design scenario and control its execution. During scenario design, user has to select vUser script to be part of this execution. In our case, we will select vUser script which we have created in the previous step. Next, user needs to select the number of users to emulate. In our case, it will be 50 users. Next, to design the schedule, details like for how long the test should run, how the virtual users should ramp up and ramp down when virtual user should stop and things like that. Basically this all depends on what kind of testing you want to perform. For example, if it is an endurance test, then the duration will be long. If it's a stress test, then slowly the user will keep on increasing and so on. This completes the designing part and now our scenario is ready for execution. Click on this start button and your execution will start. Following screen will appear. This run screen provides information on how many views are running, how many transactions passed, how many errors recorded and things like that. 
User can also monitor real-time graphs like transaction response time, running the user's transaction per second, error statistics, and so on. Once test execution completes, controller will collate the result and will be available for analysis. Analysis of this test result will be done using third and the final component of Dot Runner, which is analysis. Yes, the name of this component itself is analysis. Analysis is a crucial component of load runner which helps in analyzing the final result generated by controller. The controller generates result data is given input as uh, is given as input to analysis. Depending on the size of test result data, the analysis can take some time to generate the report. Lot of information with detailed analysis is provided in this report. Moreover, it also provides option for users to customize and generate graphs based on their requirement. Various graphs like statistics, average transaction response time, running view users, and many such can be plotted for analysis. All these graphs plotted information which are very crucial for analyzing the performance and finding bottlenecks. This summar summarizes the high level introduction of each component of load runner and their roles during actual execution. Now let's see what is the load runner testing cycle we followed just now. First step is to create a test plan. Primary what to test, how to test, how many users to include. Once we have a plan in place, start creating scripts which will emulate user activities on application in the test. Once script is ready, next step is to design a scenario. Provide details like the user script to use, duration of test, environments, etc. After designing is done, it's time to start test execution. During execution, monitor for any un monitor for any unexpected errors or results. Once test execution is done, the final step is to analyze and share the final result. Let's see which component of load runner was used at which phase. Vuegen was used during script creating phase. Controller was used during scenario designing, execution, and monitoring phase. And finally, analysis was used during analysis phase. This completes our introduction to Load Runner and its component. Let's have a quick recap. First, we saw what is Load Runner. Basically, it's a HP tool which is extensively used for performance testing. Then, we saw what are the components of Load Runner. Three components are ViewGen, Controller and Analysis. ViewGen is used for scripting, Controller is used for designing and execution and Analysis is used for analyzing the final result. Finally, we saw the LR testing cycle which starts with planning a test and ends with analyzing the final result. In upcoming classes, uh, we will have some working, working sessions on creating a script using ViewGen executing this script and designing a scenario using controller and also analyzing the final result with our analysis. So that's all for this session. Thank you so much. Hope it was uh, quite informative. Have a good day. Bye.